Welcome back students and others to a video with me. Let's take a look at this question, how to get MFCCs or MEL frequency capstral coefficients with Librosa, a Python package. So as we've seen, MEL frequency capstral coefficients are a way to turn sound, slices of sound into a, a set of numbers, like 20 numbers or 30 numbers that typify or describe that sound. Librosa, as I mentioned previously, is a Python package that is useful for music as well as audio analysis. And they have feature extraction here on the left-hand side of the, the um, webpage. Feature extraction, they have different spe spectral features that you can um, get with Librosa, one of which is male frequency capsule coefficients, MFCCs. So if we click on that, you can see this is the arguments that it takes. We first need to load in the audio, okay? Now I've created a, a Google Colab notebook for this demo, and I'll leave a link to this Google Colab notebook in the description of the video. We're gonna use Librosa to calculate those MFCCs. And um, so first we need to create some audio. So let's jump over to our old friend, Audacity. We'll open up Audacity here. Make sure Audacity is gonna pull from my microphone in front of my face. Yep, the Elgato Wave 3 USB microphone. I'm just gonna say five vowels the five canonical vowels. Ready, set, E, A, A, O, U. Okay, there we have five very canonical vowels in many human languages, right? I'm just gonna cut out everything but those vowels. <clears throat> I'm going to just create one sound file with those vowels sitting next to each other with no space between them just to show uh, what the MFCCs will turn out to be with nothing but those vowels. So if we look at these, let's just listen to these real quick. E, A, A, O, U. There you go, five vowels, E, A, A, O, U. Okay, so let's save this out. I'm gonna um, go like this for a second, back to me. I'm gonna save this out to my hard drive. I'll save them out as uh, vowels dot wave, put it on my, put it straight on my downloads to delete it later at some point in the future. Good. And then, okay, cool. I'm gonna jump back over to this point and go back to my teaching mode. So now what I need to do is I need to upload this, that file I just created and saved out as a wave file. Over here, you click on the icon that um, looks like a file, like a folder, right? You click on this upload icon. I'm gonna again come back to me for good measure to not share my pathways on my computer with the world. Um, I'm gonna upload that file that I just created called vows.wave. There we go, now I'll go back to teaching. So there it is, vows.wave, I just uploaded that. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and run this first cell right here, this cell that um, just imports Librosa loads the file, um, and so the Y and, and uh, SR there, so the amplitude is gonna give me the amplitudes, meaning how much sound pressure was hitting the microphone at a sample point. And it's gonna take 22,050 samples in one second is what the sampling rate is. And so it'll give me you know, a bunch of numbers. So I'm just gonna run that, cool. Just for good measure, if we wanna look at those numbers, let me just make a new cell real quick and go print Y there you go, it's, it's truncating all the values, but there's just they're just numbers. And the numbers are the amplitude, how much sound pressure was hitting the microphone at each sample that it took. And it took 20,050 samples in one second. That was the sampling rate. Cool, so let's get rid of that. And then we can listen to it. Let me run this little thing. It's just to create a little audio player in Google Chrome so I can just hear it. Let's just listen for a second. E -A -A -O -O. Yep, there's my vowel. Um, wave file uploaded correctly to this uh, Google Colab file system. Then here, this this uh, line right here is very simple, librosa.feature.mfcc, and then y equals y, sr equals sr, so right, the amplitude is the y. I assume they're using the y, this software uses y for those amplitudes because in a waveform, like a, a, you know the squiggly lines of a waveform, those are amplitudes, so that's on the y axis. So I assume that's, I, I'm guessing that's why they use Y there. SR is obviously a um, first sampling rate. 
So I run that and good, it did it very quickly. If I just look at the shape, so it, I have 20, let me just jump back. Let's jump back to tab two here. I have 20 um, MFCCs per slice of window. So it's sliced up like we saw in a, saw in a previous um, video. Windowing is when you slice up a longer outer file into small little sections, little slices, like 20 milliseconds slices and overlapping. And I'm getting 20 numbers per little slice. Okay. And so that's what it that's what we have right here. We have 20 numbers per little slice, and we have 72 slices across those five valves in my recording that I created. Okay, we can look at those if we want. Actually, let's do that real quick. If we go here and just print out MFCCs, yep, we have all sorts of different numbers. And there are sets of 20 per like 20 millisecond slice across the whole audio. The whole audio is like two seconds or less. And one second is what Google Colab is, is saying there. But And then I'm going to save these out to the hard drive. And I'm going to put them into a spreadsheet. And we're just going to look at plots of, of each one by itself. Let's take a look here. If I just run that, okay. So I should on my hard drive have, well, not on my hard drive, on my file system of this Google Colab. Yeah, there it is. It's on the left-hand side, it says mfcc.csv. I'm gonna download this to the hard drive. So if I click on the three vertical dots to the right of that, let me just show you that real quick. Three vertical dots, right click on that, and there's the option of download. I'm going to come back to me for a second. Hello, and I'm going to download it. Put it to my hard drive real quick. And then I'm going to, um, good. Let me come back to me or teaching. I'm gonna go over to Google, um, spreadsheet. I'm going to upload it up to a Google spreadsheet, right? If you come up here and just do file upload to put it up to a, a spreadsheet, let's do that. I'm not revealing my pathways on my computer for, for, I don't know why. Okay. Let me just put this up into a Google spreadsheet. Sorry, let me in a second. Let me Go here, upload file, upload mfccs.csv, terrific. Open this with Google Sheets. Okay, now we're back to here, uploading to Google Sheets. Okay, there we have all the numbers. So we have 20 rows. See, we have 20 rows there of numbers. And we have, we should have 72 columns, which we do at B. I don't know if you can see that on the far right of my screen. If I go to the far right, it goes out to column BT right there on the far right of my screen. So we have 72 columns and 20 rows. And if I were to um, plot, for example, if I just highlight from A1 over to BT1, meaning just the top um, MFCC for each of the slices across the five vowels, and I plot this up, just a good old fashioned plot in, in a spreadsheet, Go chart is probably going to sense a line plot. And sure enough, it does. Let me zoom out a bit. So you can see that the first MFCC does this across the five vowels. Okay, I'm not totally sure. The unit of measurement here is, is not really important. It's just a mathematical transformation, right, of the sound into different numbers. And this is the first MFCC across the five vowels. So E, A, A, O, O. Okay, cool. Interesting. If I take the second set of numbers, the second MFCC is if I um, go from A2 over to BT2, and then go insert, chart, we get this shape. We get E, A, A, O, U, when we look at the second MFCC across those five vowels. For good measure, let's just, you know, let's look at the third one real quick, just for fun. That's what this, the shape of the third MFCC across those five vowels. So the point is that we don't really need to know what the unit of measurement, like what exactly is that, does that mean? We as users of this software don't really need to know that. We just need to know that we're turning sounds into numbers. And these numbers can be put into a machine learning algorithm, right? That's, that's what happens, what to create uh, automated speech recognition software. That's exactly what happens. These, the sounds get turned into numbers in the exact unit of measurement. What exactly does that mean is less important than the fact that yeah, these numbers typify or are kind of like describing 
those slices of sounds, those like 20 millisecond little slices of sound across those five vowels in this way. E, A, A, O, U. Okay. So that is a take home message. That's how you get um, MFCCs with Librosa, the Python package. Again, I'll leave a link to my um, Google Colab notebook right here in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.